Hello, so this is just kind of a devlog type of video where I'm just going over the things I've learned in um, Unreal Engine 4 Blueprints. So I started learning programming again. There was one time back in 2017, then I started learning uh, C Sharp in Unity to make my own games. And then I stopped after about, after about three months um, when I found someone else, Devin Stern, to help me with programming and then Hunter Angelovic. Um, and those were the main programmers for the Podigum games. But now I feel like the only thing stopping me from making stuff myself is me not knowing programming. So I thought, yep, yeah, it's time to learn programming so I can finally make my own projects. And now that I have, you know, um, I know how to create worlds. I know the 3D art stuff well enough now, now that I'm, you know, I've, I've had lots of experience. And now I'm at Psyonix making, helping make Rocket League. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's probably time now to, you know, spend some of my free time learning other skills of the um, game development stuff. So there's a little introduction and now what I've learned so far. So I'm recreating Flappy Bird as a learning project. Oof, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've got things set up, got points, it knows when it collides with the ball, and I've got to respawn. <laughs> and it falls forever. So, anyway, that took some figuring out. Um, I haven't followed any tutorials for this. When I've gotten stuck, I've just Googled things and gotten help with that specific thing. But I've, I thought, just trying to figure it out myself, things might stick more. It might take longer, but I think things will stick more. Um, I don't know, pros and cons to following tutorials or not. Anyway, so what do I have set up so far? Let's see. So we have some colliders. We have our main object here and we have this blueprint which is going back and forth. Um, I'm probably going to set this up a little bit different um, in the future. Next step. So I have the score, like a point, add, you know, add a score value. Um, die on these two and respawn on this. So this will be a death thing probably. So I have those. Let's go into the blueprint of this one. Okay. And it's, yeah, that's getting cut off. So I'll just, there we go. So let's see, we have the player controller. So first we are getting the player controller so that we have the input controls. And then after that, adding left mouse and space bar to um, basically make it jump. Uh, so I'm not using, I don't think I'm using a pawn. I think I'm just using a regular actor. So I, yeah, I don't know if there's any like presets for like jumping and stuff with the other ones. I think there are, but doing this from scratch is, I'm learning. So anyway, when it's falling, we want to cancel out the velocity. So I'm just zeroing that out and then adding an impulse after that. So that makes the jumping really clean. So after we do that, we're getting, so we're gonna check our, um, colliders and their tags. So this took me some time to figure out how uh, Unreal works with colliders and getting tags and things. But I finally got this. So on component, um, begin overlap. So I think just this is the collision probably. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, so first we're checking um, for the hit. So is our collider that we're colliding with, overlapping with, uh, does it have a hit tag? And our tags are, uh, let's see. So we have these two wall colliders which both have a hit tag. We have this point collider which has a point tag. 
And then we also have this, which has a respawn tag. So those are the three tags we have. Um, let's see, where did it go? So first we're checking, is it a hit tag? If it is, then we get the name, we play the oof, and we play the explosion. <laughs> I like explosions, I guess. Uh, if it's not, then we're going to check for the next thing. thing. Um, is it the point tag? If it is, get the name and play the point sound. After these, you know, I'll obviously have like pause and game over or add a point. Um, and then respawn. If, if it's not these, then check for respawn. And if it's the respawn, then play the oof and set the X location to wherever the player start is. So we're just grabbing the player start and yeah, that makes it really simple to move that in scene. Yeah, uh, which I think, you know, when it's all done, I'm probably just, you know, going to kill it, but, you know, game over screen. So that's that. Um, I had to add an audio component to this. I've, yeah, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> whatever. Um, anyway, this video is going to seem like a bit of a ramble to anyone who's looking for Blender stuff, but this is a devlog for me, and I'm learning, so it helps to set things in when I... Uh, to speak about them and present them so anywho so we have this moving obstacle which has all these colliders in for now I don't know how to do this any other way but um, in this how I'm getting the movement is in the construction script this is a video I found um, we're using this interp to movement component which allows you to add an array of however many locations and it will just move to those locations and you can set a duration you can set it to teleport um, so I've set the behavior to loop reset um, which you know goes to the second location of the end one and then just teleports and starts back um, you have to add an array amount here so I've added two array uh, what do you call them <laughs> I guess elements, whatever. But to do this, um, I just pulled this into here, and then I did what set control points, I guess. Set control points. There it is. So after I did that, I pulled that off and did make array. What we've got down here, then pulled that off. And then make into to into control point and then so added two variables location one location two um, yeah and put plug those in oh I also had to turn these off position is relative so I was like yeah this was checked and you know wherever I had the um, the blueprint in the scene it would it would mess it up because it was relative to where it was in the scene at the beginning so to turn these off to give them like you know absolute or world values so after I'm setting that I'm just setting the duration of how long it takes to do that and the duration is like two seconds or something right now so yeah there's that and I think that's it I don't really have anything. Oh, I was testing out some of this stuff, but yeah, I'm not using this anymore, so I could probably just delete it, but I'm going to keep it there for now. Uh, yeah, so that's it for now. So things still to do. Um, add points. Game over screen. Is there anything else? Add a point. So UI stuff game over and freeze the game yeah <laughs> I think that's it and I'll call it done probably maybe add some graphics and things in there maybe learn like how the animation stuff works so like make a maybe I won't do a bird but do something that is getting propelled up and having an animation that fits that 
like flaps or something equivalent. Uh, but yeah, then maybe just make some quick graphics for this. Just present it nicely, maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, I need to figure out how to make these um, like spawn like two or three at a time. So kind of like a gun and just like shooting bullets at like random uh, Z values. So it just like moves every time it shoots or like shoot and then move to a random position, shoot and then move to a random position. So it just has like a constant delay probably. Uh, which means I'll have to set this up differently probably because I can't have the interp to movement. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll probably just have like a object that just kind of fires them and something that sets them up. I've looked into pooling, um, actors and things so where you just have like a set number that is like always spawned and then when it hits a collider it just kind of you know make uh, hides it and puts it back into place to be used again so it's not like instancing and then destroying all these objects um but i don't know maybe that's a bit too complicated for a little beginner me so i don't know what we'll do there but we'll figure something out Anyway, that's November 12th, 2021, and learning blueprints finally. Can't wait to start making stuff for myself. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, I think. <laughs> I'm, if you stuck around to watch the whole thing, then wow, I'm surprised. Give me a comment um, to say that, yep, I watched it and enjoyed it, but I don't expect anyone to really get anything from these. I don't know, they're mostly for me to get a collection of, of history as I'm learning on this little journey, but yeah, um, glad you're here, glad you watched something, and hope you got something from it if you did watch it. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.